Are you looking for help getting your first technology job? Are you having a hard time with these entry level or fresh roles trying to find a job? This video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Architects and we're an organization dedicated towards building high performance cloud computing and networking careers. I've been working in technology for over 25 years now and I've been coaching or mentoring others to get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for over two decades and I've loved every last minute of it. This video is part of a series. In the first video, we explain the macro and microeconomic conditions that are causing it to make it extremely challenging to get entry level roles and why it'll become harder and harder and the harder in the future to get entry level roles because of what's going on in technology. So why you should just stop looking for entry level roles and move on to something bigger. Then in the next series in this video, we told you our recommended careers for moving forward. In this video, as part of this series, we're gonna talk about the certifications that are gonna help you get hired. Now, I wanna make this very clear to you. Except for the CCIE, the Cisco Certified Internet Network Expert, there is no certification where the certification alone is enough to get you hired. Certification vendors have lied to you. They've made you feel like if you just get these 10 certifications, you're gonna know what you're doing and you're hired. They do not. They help you get an interview and an interview is part of the job. If you have the knowledge, the communication skills, the right attitude, energy, enthusiasm in these interviews, then you get hired if you've got all those things. But these certifications can build a case of why someone should interview you. And if they build a case on why someone should interview you and you get in front of that hiring manager directly, it's up to you to win. So our strategy is to get the best certifications, the right one, the ones that are laser focused on your career so that when a hiring manager sees it, they go, wow, and they wanna bring you in. Our next part of it is get you so strong and so capable that when they bring you in, they forget you're new when they hire you. Let me tell you, my first job was a senior network engineer. I'm not joking. I left my office on a Friday. I was a nurse practitioner. I was hired on a Monday as a senior network engineer. I had no tech background. I didn't start at Help Desk. Not that there's anything wrong with Help Desk. It's a great place, but I didn't start there. I didn't start with an admin role. I started with a senior role. That was my first job and you can too. So we've talked about the careers. Now let's talk about the certification to help you get each career. The network engineer, my favorite. Well, I gotta tell you, minimum level of certification even to think about work on the network is a Cisco certified network professional, minimum level. Cisco certified internet expert, you always have a job. I will tell you that uh, I took that exam back when it was uh, two days. I read about 75,000 pages to pass that exam and my career was like a rocket ship. I still get requests every single day of the week for people to hire me as network engineers and network architects based upon that CCI. So there are the certifications necessary to start your career in network. Again, certifications just get you the interview. Let's say you love security. We love security too. What kind of certifications do we like? We like the CEH Master, the CISSP, if you can find some experience on your resume to do that, maybe you've been working in physical security or some other, other world, maybe you've done something that you can correlate it, but that's a little tricky for some people. The Offensive Security Certified Professional, we love it. And the CCSP, again, these are good security certifications. We didn't list Network Plus, we didn't list Security Plus, we didn't list any of those basic certifications. They help you get entry level roles, there are almost no entry level roles due to automation and due to the cloud basically making it so easy to do things with mental of people. I just want to remind you guys, it used to be six weeks to order a server. A fresher would take the server, they'd unbox it, they'd put it in a rack, they'd screw it in, they'd install an operating system, they'd cable it up. Today's world, cloud engineer, click, 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 and it's all done. So that's why you got to get really good and you can't be there for entry level roles. You got to be prepared for more senior roles. Let's talk about another great career. Linux engineers, awesome. Everything is Linux. The whole world's Linux now. If you're not familiar, your cable box, probably Linux. Your, your satellite TV box, probably Linux. Your cell phone, if it's not running on Apple, it's probably Linux. The appliances in your house that are smart, they're running on Linux. The whole cloud runs on Linux. The cloud is basically servers with Linux on top of them as a control plane, kind of in hypervisors and things and container manager strategies. So Linux, Linux engineers. What is your minimum level certification? Guess what? The Red Hat Certified Engineer or the Red Hat Certified Architect. Nothing lower. Again, they gotta prepare you for bigger roles. 
How about security architecture flaws? This is a tough one for pressure, honestly. But I'm going to list them anyway, because I create a lot of security architects. A CISSP, a CCSP, a CISM, one of those kind of certifications, because you're working on the leadership level. Cloud engineer, minimum level, AWS certified solution architect professional, or Azure expert, or Google professional cloud architect. Do not get a million and one certifications for the cloud. Get the ones that matter. Do not get three associate certifications that makes your portfolio look like you have no idea what you want to do. Professional, maybe a certified solution architect professional as a cloud engineer, maybe something coming from Linux like a Red Hat certified engineer, or a CCNA or a CCMP to show that you know some networking and the cloud. Great combination. Cloud architect, well, you need some basic intro level cloud certification. I consider the certified solution architect professional to be intro level. I consider Azure expert to be intro level. And I consider the Google professional cloud architect intro level. What I mean by intro level, they teach you the name of the services and how to configure them, but they don't teach you a whole lot about cloud computing or architectures, but it's a good baseline for knowledge of the cloud. Combine that with something like a CCNP for networking, a Red Hat certified engineer, a CCSSP for security, something good from industry, something from the cloud and you're not that's part of their certification to be a cloud architect devops engineer well certifications are not really your portfolio for devops this is more lots of skills lots of devops tools lots of coding skills but if there's two certifications that i recommend since a lot of the stuff is moving to the cloud it's again that basic certified solution architect professional and we call it basic because we train architects and we train people with real deep knowledge the industry would consider that highly skilled but they don't hire people without a lot of experience in general because they don't consider it uh, much enough of a skill to hire someone. So we use it as an entry level and then we add, add, add a lot of the skills and knowledge. So that's enough to get the interview. And after that, we build the knowledge to get the exam and you can build it too with us or without us. You can build it too. So DevOps, going to be on the cloud. So certified solution architect professional like all else. And there's an AWS certified DevOps professional. For DevOps people, we like that certification. For cloud architects, do not get DevOps certification. It's gonna, it's gonna make your career look, your resume look cuckoo. It's gonna be like, you don't, you don't know if you wanna be a software developer or a systems designer, but DevOps is a great career. So DevOps, certified solution architect professional, DevOps professional, one teaches you about the cloud and how to do stuff on the cloud, the other teaches you the DevOps tools and you'll be good to go. So we'll have other videos in the series teaching you how to get your first tech job because I want you all to get hired. Market forces changes, we adapt, we improvise, we overcome, we succeed, all of us. We help each other succeed. So that's why we're doing this for you. My name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Architects. Thank you for watching this video. I will have more free content coming for you to help you get your first tech job or raise your career coming very soon. Look forward to seeing you soon. It was so nice having you join us for this video today. Let me tell you about some free services we do for the cloud community. Twice per week, we have a free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar, where we tell you all the things you need to do and know to get your first cloud architect job. In addition to that, once per week, we actually have a free question and answer session on live on YouTube, where you can come and ask us any questions you want about building your career related to cloud computing or networking, and we'll answer them in real time for you because we want to get you to your goals. Several more times per week, we have guests from industry, industry experts that I've known for decades that are movers and shakers that have changed the world that can give you information so you can build the best career. I invite them periodically. They are on my show. If there's a chance to do some free training on our channel, we'll do it live because we want you to all to have the best skills for the best career. So please subscribe and hit the bell. I look forward to seeing you and I look forward to assisting you in your technology career. Thank you so much. This is Michael Gibbs from Go Cloud Architect.